So everyone watching this video has probably seen or heard of SCPs before, but in case you haven't, an SCP stands for Secure, con Contain, Protect, and the SCPs are uh, an anonymous or something supernatural relating to them. So in this video, I'm going to make making a tier list, seeing if I could survive these different entities, going from S tier being I survive every time, or F tier where I die every time. Also make sure to like, subscribe, and comment your favorite SCP. So now let's get into it. First up is SCP-096, also, also known as Shy Guy, who is a tall, pale man who really doesn't want you to look at his face. And if you do, you make you better make peace with whatever god you, you believe in, because you will soon meet them. SCP-096 is so powerful that he can just destroy or reinforce walls and heavy armored vehicles with ease when he's on the attack. So there's literally no shot I can beat him if I view his face. But the catch is, there is no shot I'm looking at that man, whether I know about what makes him mad or not. Because if I know what his deal is, why on earth would I look at him? I like, and if I don't know, all I see is a ginormous, slender, naked ma white man that's covering his face. And if I see that, I'm sprinting the other way till I physically can't anymore. But if I do end up viewing his face, whether unintentionally or if curiosity gets the best of me, I'm cooked. So I'll put a uh, shy guy in B tier. Next up is SCP-173, also known as the Peanut or the Sculpture. So the deal with this SCP is he is a statue looking thingy that kind of looks like a peanut and he will not move if someone is looking at him but if no one is looking at him he can move extremely fast and we'll go on a killing spree snapping people with necks left and right so he's basically a weeping angel and is extremely dangerous the way i'll deal with this dude is i'll be looking at it and while watching it i'll blink one eye at a time so my eyes don't get tired and then i'll call up a couple of my friends with Sears or something i'm gonna t tell them to, to come and like w watch this thing i found and when, once a couple of them arrive i'll tell them whoever lo looks at this thing last uh, will get a thousand dollars and then i'll get as far away as possible and boom easy survival but i might end up accidentally closing both eyes so a tier next up is scp 999 also known as the tickle monster which is a very friendly orange blob thingy that is the essence of joy and pleasure and its ability is that when you touch it it makes you very happy and laugh uncontrollably which may sound like it can end up being malicious but no he really is just a fun silly guy and he even heals you, so obviously S tier. Next up is SCP-682, the hard to destroy reptile. And his nickname is pretty it pretty much sums him up. It is a reptile that is, a, is basically an alligator that is extremely hard to kill. And by extremely, I mean impossible. I mean, this thing has taken some damage and it, it has walked away perfectly fine. Like it's been shot, burned, dismembered, had chemical warfare used, and other very po powerful SCPs have been used against it. And in case you were hopeful, it was like, a, a kind of monster or something this reptile is very hostile and is one of the most aggressive scps and since i don't think even goku could eradicate this thing i don't think i'll do much against it either so i'm beyond cooked f tier next up is scp 3008 also known as a perfectly normal ikea so th the deal with this scp is it looks like a normal ikea from the outside but once you enter it you will never leave as you will become trapped in in an infinite ikea so you will be stuck there for the rest of your life but th that's not the worst of it uh there are these entities inside that, that look like ikea workers and that they will like wander around and they'll be nice and helpful d during the day but will become extremely hostile during the night so the way i'll try to survive is i would get some food from around the ikea as there should be some stuff lying around to eat and then i'll try to work with some other survivors because there are other people there and if push comes to shove i would devour the ikea employees but surviving in there is pretty much impossible so d tier next up is scp-049 also known as the plague doctor and this scp it looks like a plague doctor but its face is like the plague doctor masks uh and this scp wants to cure people from something called the pestilence and the way it goes about this is by killing anyone, which certainly is one way to cure a disease. But anyway, the way I would try to defeat this thing is the same way I would try to beat any other thing. And that is just to fight it, because it doesn't seem to have any like supernatural abilities, so I just beat the bricks off of it. Because it's basically just a normal dude. Uh, 
uh, then I'll try to restrain it as long as possible until the foundation arrives and takes it back to itself. So A tier. Next up is SCP-0730, also known as Kane or the other brother. And he looks like a man of Middle Eastern descent descent but his skin is very resistant to damage and any damage like done to him will be reflected onto his opponent so it's, he basically just counters everything and he has a different another ability where if he comes into contact with any plant life it will imme immediately wither away but this ability doesn't go onto like any other organisms so he's not like shigaraki 2.0 he, he's not going to disintegrate you and he seems to be a version of the, the the biblical figure Cain, who is the son of Adam and Eve. But this hasn't been confirmed. And he's a, he doesn't seem very dangerous, and he's very friendly. So as long as I don't walk up to him and start randomly punching him and get damage reflected back on me, I should be safe. So S tier. Next up is SCP-294, also known as the coffee machine, which appears to just be a normal coffee machine but it has a keypad and it can be used to enter the name of any anything from normal coffee to abstract concepts like liquid pain and the scp doesn't seem to be malicious in any way and the only way it can end up bad is if you want to be a smart ass and start getting into philosophy with the damn coffee machine and asking for liquid regret or something like that which will end up making a weird drink that, that can end up be, being sentient but as long as you aren't weird with the damn coffee machine you should be fine so i will not only survive with the machine but i will thrive by asking for expensive liquids like liquid gold and uh and have with like a strong container obviously or scorpion venom which can be up to 39 million dollars per gallon so easy s tier I, I will be balling with this thing next up is scp-217 also known as the, the clockwork virus which is a highly dangerous virus that infects living organisms and transfer them into like mechanical clock versions of themselves and this process happened rapidly so i don't see any conceivable way i could survive this as there isn't like any cure antibiotics for this thing yet so f tier next up is scp-1000 also known as Bigfoot, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's a group of Sasquatches that, that look very similar to Bigfoot, and th they don't like interacting with humans and are pretty aggressive when provoked, just like any other creature. So if I just keep my distance and don't rile them up, I'll be fine. But if I get too close, I'll be a goner. So B tier. And that's the end of the Would I Survive SCPs tier list. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment if I should do a part two. And if, if you guys want me to make one, then make sure to tell me what SCPs I should include. Uh, but that, that's enough out of me. Goodbye.